Thank you so much. Now for this next recipe, I know we all love comfort food and we all love food that's easy on the wallet. Now this next dish ticks both of those boxes. <laughs> so we've had classic fashion from Timby, classic cars, thanks Chad, and we've seen classic hairstyles. And you, Michael? Classic. A classic range from Clover, timeless taste. Made with love by Clover. Ah, uh, now, uncomplicated dishes are often the most satisfying. And just like our five-ingredient Clover Classic Pilchard Cottage Pie, you just got to add a dash of speed and you have a winning weeknight dinner. And what? Maybe you can even try it tonight. And we've got Chef Bert and Leo is showing us how we're putting this one together. It's round two with you. <laughs> right, so, so this is a very easy dish. So all mm. we need is the Clover Classic. Okay, our hero ingredient coming straight through. You know what's cool about this, and I've noticed after working on the show for so long now, is that you can cook almost anything with Clover Classic. Uh, frying, baking, uh, it, it all kind of works, right? It's a beautiful fat, uh, medium fat spread as well, it and eats. it tastes good. It does. I mean, the fat spread, I mean, uh, the 40% the, the of it is actually amazing. I mean, yeah. it, it helps, it makes everything creamy. So. We're just going to melt down the butter. Okay. We're going to add some onion to it. So what's the first step? Are we sautéing again? We sautéing. I, lo I love how you just get your sauté on. You're like a sauté specialist. <laughs> <laughs> but for me, this is like the penultimate start of a cooking dish recipe. When you hear that sizzle, that sauté just kind of brings the flavors, the smell starts coming together. The kitchen is alive. Right. <laughs> I mean, that's what it is. Huh? We're cooking. So. Once onions are nicely sautéed, we're going to add the pulchards to it. Just going to give us another 30 seconds. Okay. And pulchards are giving nostalgia back like I can't remember. I mean, this is stuff I actually grew up on, man. Yeah, we all we grew up on We were talking about it. this earlier just yes. before we came through. I, I, I used to have to hustle for protein wherever I could and cheap alternatives with things like a can of tuna and pulchards. And uh, we got so creative with this, but I never did what you're doing now. I never ever got to a cottage pie. You've, you've stepped the bar up here, <laughs> Chef B. You definitely have. Thank you. And I've got to just add on this note, we were talking about it earlier, but it's so cool when we're looking at Cl Clover Classic. It doesn't matter if you're cooking, baking, or spreading. Clover Classic spread is versatile to use in any of your favorite cooking techniques, and it takes your classic meals, like we said right now, to the next level, and the bar's been set, all right? right. So you've got your saute on. Sauteed is, uh, that box is ticked, right? That Box of sticks. So okay. we added the, the, the pulchers to it. So we're just going to warm it up through a little bit. We're going to add a little bit of salt and pepper. Okay. And Not I too much because the pulchers pulchers came from a can and it was already in the sauce, right? Yes. That's that tomato sort so of mix. That's you correct. want that in this. Yes, you You're can. You can. You can also use the normal pulchers and always make your own sauce. But this is the easiest way to make it as budget as yeah, possible. This is awesome, quick. man. This is quick. It's, it's, it's easy. Quick. I don't have to think about much. And like you said, five ingredients. I'm here for that. Yes, please. Okay. So while that's in there now, we're going to add in some frozen vegetables. This is just for color and obviously, so everybody Not gets just it. color, my man. This is health as well. And you know the health. <laughs> but most of the time, it's color and health. No, it is. I mean, who doesn't love to eat a dish that's just full of all the colors of the rainbow? But I, I, I must just say, it's a great way to sneak in veg. I mean, I'm sure for kids and stuff as well, they also always often will complain about eating some raw veg. Yes. This is a great way to get some of the healthy nutrition um, in as well. Definitely, definitely. I mean, the best way, you can always hide it. The best way yeah. to give kids vegetables is to hide it. I mean, I've got a kid of my own. And yeah, he he's not very it's not very fond of vegetables. <laughs> right. Uh, so great tip for parents at home and sneak your vegetables into your cottage pie, of course, and that's a great way to get the kids veg on. Okay, from there we're gonna add the poultures into that dish. Okay. How long would you sit this on the pan for just by the way? Oh uh, this is look, yeah, everything's basically cooked already. I mean we're gonna cook it now in a the oven as well. So everything will cook. But like it doesn't take long to do this. I mean you just have to make sure your onions is nicely cooked. Everything's nice and warm through. And then it's going to go through a further process. It's going to go through actually... another process, yeah. It's going to go Beautiful. into the oven now as well. All right, so... for you, Mzanzi, if you've just tuned in, shame on you. But don't worry, we've got you covered, of course. We've just finished sautéing and putting some of the recipe ingredients that we need for our cottage pie poultry dish. But you can get this recipe on expressoshow.com. Of course, we are about to go through the final steps with Chef B in the building. So, the final step is obviously putting your mashed potato on top and covering mm. it. I mean, I like to put little blobs all over the place. I mean, it doesn't have to be covered perfectly. Yeah. For me, I, I must say, I'm not that into how it looks. It's all about the taste, man. It's all about the all taste. All about the taste for me. You're not going to fool me with your uh, bourgeoisness. <laughs> I want to taste it. <laughs> the proof is in the pudding, like they say. Then, no, that's, that, that is true. <laughs> I mean, like, I mean, 
to add a little bit of spice to this, you can always add some chili. You can add some smoked paprika mm. to it. It, mm. adds, it. It just adds a little bit of more depth into it as yeah. well. But this is a very simple way of making it. It literally is, and I mean, if I was to put a clock to this, it's been like, what, four minutes, if even, and we've literally got a supper dish that's suitable for the entire family, all the, ma all the macros and everything else that you need, and I mean, voila. Voila, a voila. Bit of salt and pepper, and then pop it into the oven, 15, 20 minutes, done. All right, well, while you're so popping into the oven, Chef, Burton, Leo, I can't thank you enough for joining us today. First time in the studio, first time in the kitchen. You feel like family already, man. It's thank been an you. absolute invigorating energy from you. So thank you for that. Thank you for feeding our souls and the rest of the Zanzi, giving us the inspiration you need. And of course, guys, you want to find out where to get this recipe, go to the expressoshow.com. It's the perfect supper choice for you. Pulchard cottage pie. <laughs> well done, man. Thank you. <laughs>